Hey guys, happiness here. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys things you need to do before launching your Shopify store. These are the essential things you need to do even way before your store is live out there for the people to start shopping on your website. So if you are still working on your store or you are just planning to start working on your Shopify store, this video is definitely for you. So make sure you stick around until the end of this video so you can know all these things I am going to tell you so you can checklist them before you launch your store and starting making sales on your website. Uh, so be sure to give me a like, a subscribe on my channel for more videos like this. Leave me a comment down below and let us know like what stage are you on on your Shopify store. Are you ready to start selling or you are still working on it or you're just looking for a checklist to know if you are all set up to launch your store. Let us know down below on the comment section. And without further ado, let's jump in today's video. So the first thing you need to do is to pick your theme. You need to choose a theme of what you're going to start creating your website. Picking a theme is very, very important and this will depend on what kind of products are you selling or you're offering a service. Shopify has like so many free themes that you can use. There are paid one and the free ones. It is good to use the free ones, especially if you're starting out your business so you can save some money and not using a lot of money just from the beginning. So Shopify has a free themes to use. I have like different videos that I showed you guys how you can find the best free Shopify theme that you can use for your store. I will link I will leave all the video down below so you can go ahead and check it out if you haven't made a decisions yet on whether to pick a free theme or a paid theme. The next step will be to purchase a domain name. Um, so pretty much all this step that I'm telling you they are not in an order so you don't have to worry about that so yeah you need to purchase your custom domain for your business um so let's say if you're selling um like jewelries and you're calling them as like salt chick jewelries something like that so your domain name you can purchase your domain name and be like salt chick um jewelries.com or like salt chick.com something like that so you just need to buy a good custom domain name so that way it could be easy for your customer to find you when they search for you on online so let's say they'll they'll tap like so chic.com or so chic jewelries.com and things like that and you can buy your domain name either in shopify website because they have an option to buy a domain name i have also another video that i showed you um, how to buy a domain name in Shopify or if you don't want to use Shopify to buy your domain name there are so many um, platforms that you can buy your domain name like GoDaddy you can buy on their Google your domain name or you can buy your domain name um, on Namecheap.com something like that there are so many websites there you can buy your domain name but if you want to buy your domain name in Shopify I'll leave the link down below with the link of the video that I showed you how to get your domain name in Shopify so once you have picked your theme you want to use for your business it's time to add your products there is a section on your Shopify store where you can go and start adding your products and you can start by adding your titles um descriptions the product pictures and you can use tags so you can help your customer uh to be easy when they visit your website and start searching let's say like tops dresses and stuff like that uh pretty much it is good to write a really good description that um explain what kind of product you're offering uh, let's say if you're selling tops it can explain what kind of top is that the features and things like that and also when you add pictures it is good to add really good pictures professional pictures like they have a clear um they have a clear view like instead of adding like picture like they're so brawly and you really can tell how the product looks like it's good to have really good professional pictures and this way your customer can see your products and they can buy your products from you so add your products add the descriptions um the title and good pictures now you have added all your products on your shopify store it's time to 
arrange them on the collection so pretty much after you added all the products on your Shopify store they won't just go straight on your um, on your store some of them will go there but it's good to put them on the collection that way it can be easy to arrange all your products and it can be easy for your customer to know what kind of collection you have in your store so let's say if you have a collection of tops dresses um, sweaters and jumpsuits blazers etc and there are two different ways of adding products on your collection so there is an automated way and there's a manual way so with a manual method you basically you're gonna have to add products every time and create a collection every time when you add the products this method is is gonna take so much time I normally recommend it every time when I'm doing my tutorials how to customize um, your Shopify theme certain themes I normally tell you guys to use um, an automated way that way you can use it for example like tags to tag your products and that way every time when you add a new product let's say um a dress and you put the tags like dress or dresses your dresses will be added automatically on your collection so it is it is good to use an automated way to add your product in the collection the next step is gonna be create pages so on this stage you're going to start creating different page like about us um, so on this page you're going to state the mission your vision and you're, you're going to tell your customer about your brand and who are running that business stuff like that and also there is a contact us page so on this page you're going to tell your customer um, the ways they can contact you um, let's say if they're going to contact you through an email or a text message a phone call or they can contact you and meet you in person it's just gonna depend on what kind of service you're offering or what kind of product you you are selling in your store so you can customize your contact us on the Shopify page and the template is very easy and I have a video too that I showed you how you can create a contact us page the next stage will be to link everything after you have created all your collections and set up your pages so basically you can link everything um, there are certain things you can you can link them on the main menu and on the main menu right there you can link your products um let's say like tops dresses um a different collection you can link link them up all of them on the top menu on the main menu and they will appear on the top of your store or on the left hand side i if i something like that on your left hand side on your store you can link your main menu and also you can link on the other pages on your footer menu so let's say on the footer menu you can link something about um, your shipping policy your return policy your question and answers about about us contact us um, what else you can link so many things on your footer menu and yeah the next stage you're gonna have to decide how your customers they're going to check out on your Shopify store. So basically there are so many different ways of checking out process in the Shopify. First, you're gonna have to add your payment gateways and this will actually depend on where are you running your business and what kind of business you are running. And you can add those payments gateway like credit cards, debit cards, different company that they're offering credit cards debit card like visa mastercard and things like that and you need to do a research to know how many percentage of the transaction fees they're charging per each transaction when your customers they are buying on your on your store so you need to do a research on that and this also payments method or payment gateways will also depend on what where which state you are running a business and what kind of business you're doing so you need to do a research on that before adding your payment gateways on your Shopify store and another thing you can pick either you want your, your customers to pay through PayPal and stuff like that. So there are a few different things to uh, pay attention when it comes to pick up your payment gateways on your Shopify So The next step is going to be taxes. So taxes are really important. So before you start accepting payments, 
on your store you have to make sure like how are you going to charge your taxes so you can set up your taxes on your Shopify store they normally have their taxes rates where you can put your estates and the Shopify will um, give you the tax rate but sometimes they can be really accurate so it's good to do your research and especially you need to talk with your tax advisor so they can explain to you like on how many percentage you need to charge taxes on your products or if you're offering a certain kind of service you need to charge a certain percentage of taxes so you need to do that talk with your financial advisor so they can advise you how you can set up your taxes and taxes actually depends and they also are different compared to different states different states have different tax rates so make sure to do your research and just don't put your tax rate just how it is so you won't have troubles at the end of the day with IR. The next step is shipping. You need to set up your shipping in your Shopify store. It is very important to have a good shipping setup in your store, especially if you are selling physical products because you're gonna do shipping. But if you're selling um like you're providing servers and you're selling like maybe like pdfs and stuff like that you don't need to set up shipping because you won't be offering any shippings if you're doing like e uh if you're selling like ebooks or like different pdfs so you don't need to set up your shipping but if you are selling Frisco products it is very important to set up your shipping as a beginner it is a good idea to start shipping or from from where you're running your business so let's say if you're running your business in united state it is good to start shipping within united state and or either in canada instead of jumping straight ahead to international shipping it is good to start first within your areas so you can know how the shipping process is and how you can handle all the shipping processes and the problems that they may occur within um your shipping processes to your customers so it is always good to start shipping small especially around your area you're running a business and then after that you can just um, expand your business and start shipping internationally as well the next thing you need to set up your stop policy this is very crucial for every business owner it is good and it's very very important to set up your stop policy for example um, the shipping policy refund policy returns policy and other different policies in your business and Shopify normally have a free template that you can use that can guide you on how you can set up your policies in your store so basically you can just go ahead and start using that template but make sure to edit like few things in there and don't uh you normally won't use everything so make sure to read up everything before you even make your store policies available in your store and i have another video too that i showed you how to set up your shipping policy your refund policy and so many different policies on shopify so i will link also down here on my description sections or you can click the playlist that i will link it up somewhere here it has all the shopify tutorials so you can go and watch watch that out the next step is test orders so it is good before launching your store to test your orders and state functionality of your payments and to see if these orders will go through so basically you can test your order by trying to buy something in your store put the, your credit card or the debit card Google Shopify they have a place where you can do like a test mod and you can use a test credit card with the card numbers so you can put them there and test if the payments will go through and this way this can help you to know how the orders actually looks like when your customer purchases those and if this is how the shipping rates looks like all of that they can be seen on the test mod so you need to do the test before um, launching your Shopify store the next step will be expand your reach so now you know that your store is running smoothly like the payments they're working perfectly your products are ready um, your descriptions are really good your pictures they are all awesome you have added all the pages now it's time for you to expand your sales channel you can add different sales channel like 
Instagram, Facebook, um, Pinterest, Etsy, you can all add them on your Shopify store. And you have to read all the requirements for different platforms like Pinterest, Etsy, uh, Facebook, what are the requirements and if they are aligned with Shopify. But you can definitely add them on your Shopify store. So this way you can have a bigger places that you can reach like so many people you can reach people not only on your shopify website you can also reach new customers who are using pinterest etsy um on the facebook instagram and stuff like that so it is good to add those different sales channel to expand your small business and the last checklist make sure you have linked up all the pages on your footer menu and the main menu it is very important to link um all the pages especially on your footer menu so you can give your customer a guidance on how they can find your products and on the footer menu where they can find all your policies um your contact as pages and about your about your brand and stuff like that so make sure everything is linked up together before launching your store the last 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 step is to do a final review so since now you know you have added everything in your store everything you needed your payments you have set up your shipping you have set up all the pages it's time for you to go through and do a final review so you can go and start reviewing your products if you have put like the perfect descriptions um if you haven't made like any errors or typos or you didn't put like like less information sometimes you can just copy and paste and make sure you just copied and pasted the right information so you need to do all all the final review before ranching your store the places where you're going to ship your products your payment gateways if they are all working properly all different information especially your stock policies they need to be so they can protect you the owner and they can protect your brand it is very important to have your uh, your stock policy so yeah guys these are the things you need to do before launching your Shopify store I hope this information was really really helpful if you think this um information were helpful please don't forget to smash the like button subscribe on my channel so you can help my channel for more engagement um also leave me a comment down below and let me know if i left anything like something we need to check out before launching your shopify store let me know down below on the comment section so other people can know and so i can know also and yeah guys i will see you on the next video